wonderful Wednesday, August 2nd, and we are in the second story of this series, Stories for All Seasons, by the beloved Eric Carl, author, illustrator. Yesterday we read about a rooster who wanted to go all around the world and take some friends, and then they thought about it, and they're like, ooh, we're missing the comforts of a home, shelter, and food. And everybody returned to their place of dwelling. Well, today's first story is the tiny seed. The tiny seed. We know a lot starts with the seed. And uh, I have a feeling this is probably geared for spring. Oh no, autumn. It says it is autumn. Oh no, we have a month and a half or so before autumn. <laughs> Take advantage of these summer days. It is autumn. A strong wind is blowing. It blows flower seeds high in the air and carries them far across the land. One of the seeds is tiny, smaller than any of the others. Will it be able to keep up with the others? And where are they all going? They're moving, having a good time. One of the seeds flies higher than the others. Up, up it goes. It flies too high and the sun's hot rays burn it up. But the tiny seed sails on with the others. Another seed lands on a tall and icy mountain. The ice never melts and the seed cannot grow. The rest of the seeds fly on, but the tiny seed does not go as fast as the others. Oh, look at this. Now they fly over the ocean. One seed falls into the water. You see that? You see the tiny seed? Sometimes Seeds are not visible to the human eye, but you know that you're you're charting the course for some great beginnings and drowns. Oh no, the seed falls into the water and drowns. The others sail on with the wind, but the tiny seed does not go as high as the others. That's okay. Let's keep on reading. One seed drifts down onto the desert. It is hot and dry, and the seed cannot grow. Now the tiny seed is flying very low, but the wind pushes it on with the others. You know, Eric Carl must have... No, that was Ezra Jack Peets, who wrote about the cactus in the desert, and now you see this. Yeah, it's a collection in the desert, wow. Well, but the wind pushes it on with the others. Finally, the wind stops and the seeds fall gently down on the ground. A bird comes by and eats one seed. The tiny seed is not eaten. It is so small that the bird does not see it. Didn't we just say that? You know, some things that we put into motion are not visible to the eye, but they're there. So you keep on working behind the scenes. Now it is winter. <laughs> After their long trip, the seeds settle down. They look just as if they are going to sleep in the earth. Snow falls and covers them like a soft white blanket. A hungry mouse that also lives in the ground eats a seed for his lunch. But the tiny seed lies very still and the mouse still does not see it. Not visible. Now it is spring, yay! After a few months, the snow has melted. It is really spring. Birds fly by, the sun shines, rain falls. Hey! And... The seeds grow so round and full, they start to burst open. 
Isn't that an exciting new life, new beginning, just like we're in a new beginning of a brand new month? Well, there's a bursting of opening of opportunities this month. Now they are not seeds anymore. They are plants. First, they send roots down into the earth. Then their little stems and leaves begin to grow up toward the sun and air. There is another plant that grows much faster than the new little plants. It is a big fat weed. Oh, and it takes all the sunlight. It hogs. Greedy. And it takes all the rain away from one of the small new plants and that little plant dies. The tiny seed hasn't begun to grow yet. It will be too late. Hurry! But finally it too starts to grow into a plant. The other day I mentioned how the you know as we prepare to go back to school we know that kindergarten, the word kindergarten means a garden of minds. Ooh. And it is for cultivating. Frobel called for German women to come together and support the kindergarten because he described children as plants and teachers as gardeners or horticulturalists. The term kindergarten emerged. Kinder, 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 meaning child and garden, meaning garden. So you're kind to the ones who are growing because they are plants. Oh, isn't that wonderful? It's so important that we cultivate the seeds that we have in our care because we can misuse them and not look at their potential. So, it will be too late. The tiny seed hasn't begun to grow yet. It will be too late. The hurry, but finally it too starts to grow into a plant. And just like our children are growing and maturing into something beautiful. The warm weather also brings the children out to play. They too have been waiting for the sun and spring and summer. <laughs> one child doesn't see the plants as he runs along and oh he breaks one now it cannot grow anymore yeah the tiny plant that grew from the tiny seed is growing fast but its neighbor grows even faster before the tiny plant has three leaves the other plants has seven and look a bud and now even a flower but what is happening? First there are footsteps, then a shadow looms over them, then a hand reaches down and breaks off the flower. Oh no. What? A boy has picked the flower to give to a friend. That was sweet. That is nice. Oh my goodness. Still some more. Look at that, he got on a knee and showed kindness. It is summer, yay! Now the tiny plant from the tiny seed is all alone. It grows on and on. It doesn't stop. The sun shines on it and the rain waters it. It has many leaves. It grows taller and taller. It is taller than the people. It is taller than the trees. It is taller than the houses. And now a flower grows on it. People come from far and near to look at this flower. It is the tallest flower they have ever seen. It is a giant flower. How cool. All summer long, the birds and bees and butterflies come visiting. They have never seen such a big and beautiful flower. And we're in the midst of that season. We're in the midst of this season and we are able to enjoy enjoy so much enjoy so much in the background and the foreground i tell you this is the season to take advantage now it is autumn again oh. the days grow shorter the nights grow cooler and the wind carries yellow and red leaves past the flower 
Some petals drop from the giant flower and they sail along with the bright leaves over the land and down to the ground. Yeah, to everything there is a season, every purpose under the sun. The wind blows harder. The flower has lost almost all of its petals. It sways and bends away from the wind, the, but the wind grows stronger and shakes the flower. Once more, the wind shakes the flower, and this time, the flower's seed pod opens. Out come many tiny seeds that quickly still far away. They sail far away from the sun, and they distribute themselves. Yeah, it's part of life. Oh, and that was it. I attempt to have many levels in my picture books, Eric Carl says. Funny animals, exciting colors, a story, humor, entertainment, mystery, emotional content, and learning. There are many kinds of young readers. Each one is an individual and finds something different, something special in a book. Author Eric Carl, you know, he's famous for the very hungry caterpillar, is one of the most beloved names in children's literature. Born in Syracuse, New York, he moved to Germany, I just talked about Germany, Kinder, Kinder Garden, and with his parents when he was six years old and lived there until his return to the U.S. in 1952. His first two children books, One, Two, Three, The Zoo and The Very Hungry Caterpillar, gained him immediate international recognition. The latter title, now considered a modern classic, has sold over 12 million copies and been translated into more than 25 languages. He has written and illustrated more than 70 books for the ch for children, including Walter the Baker, Have You Seen My Cat, Papa Please Get the Moon for Me, and the color concept, Hello Red Fox. And, oh yeah, remember Red Fox from uh, last week. Well, enjoy the season and be mindful of the seeds that we're planting with our actions, with our words, most of all with our love. Good day.